Hello and welcome back to Pico TV. Today we're exploring the reality of the modern railway using both concrete and wooden sleepers together and the fact that wooden sleepers are still very much so in use to this very day. So today I'm going to be doing some myth busting. Often modern image modellers ask about the use of concrete sleepers for turnouts and yes these are common on high speed lines. We currently have in manufacture a medium radius code 75 flat bottom turnout with concrete sleepers. The SLE1095 right hand and the SLE1096 left hand turnout. So in order to understand exactly what we have in use on the UK railway network, I contacted Network Rail to clarify how much wood is still in use and how much is concrete. The results are quite interesting. According to my Freedom of Information request to Network Rail, there are 31,765 kilometres of running lines. This does not include sidings and yards. There are 22,761 kilometres of concrete sleepers in the United Kingdom and there are 3,566 kilometres of wooden and timber sleepers in the United Kingdom. This means that 11.2% of our network is still using wooden sleepers. The remaining 9,004 kilometres are a mixture of other types of sleeper, which I'm going to cover in another film. This is a statement from Network Rail. There are still around 3,500 kilometres of wooden sleepers in use on the railway, but there have been previous campaigns, particularly in the 1970s and the 1980s, to replace wooden sleepers and jointed rail. Network Rail and their predecessors have been progressively replacing them as the track across the network becomes life expired. But the cost to do so is restrictive. Therefore, the replacement rate of timber usually still in use on more local, less busy lines is relatively low. However, in addition to this, there are high proportions of timber bearers for switches and crossings. An example of where wooden sleepers are still being used on the network is the Salisbury Tunnel Junction. And here we see the turnouts have been replaced with wooden sleepers. So after that insight, it's time to have a look at replicating this in model form. I've popped down to Wargret Junction to see the main line intersection with the Swanage Railway branch line. And as you can clearly see, the line on the right hand side is in concrete, and the line on the left hand side, with the turnout running to the Swanage Railway, is laid in wooden sleepers. Both lines have third rail running down the middle and we will take a look at third rail a little later in this film. So this is the diorama so far. I've replicated the concrete line on the London side and we have wooden sleepers leading to the branch and continuing onwards to Bournemouth. However, it's quite clear that just beyond the turnout, the wooden sleepers turn back to concrete and a little further off the turnout on the branch line, it also switches to concrete. So to create a natural switch from wood to concrete and concrete to wood, I simply remove some of the concrete sleepers from an off-cut length of track and take great care not to damage the pandrel clips holding the rail in place. I then replace them on a length that has some wooden sleepers already attached like this. Whenever you have a turnout that uses wood for sleepers, you very often find wooden sleepers continue for some distance either side of the turnout. Just simply replacing some of the sleepers on a length of track can significantly increase the authentic look. Next I ballast the track and apply some glue to fix it all in place. When the glue has dried it's time to paint the sides of the rail with rust coloured paint. Then I add the third rail. I'm using the Pico Individual Lay 120 Conductor Rail Chairs and the Code 60 Rail, the IL-1. Using a 0.8mm drill bit, 
I drill holes at the end of every fourth sleeper, like this. And then I line up the rails and position each chair to its corresponding hole. And then I dab a small amount of super glue on each hole and push the chair pegs into the holes whilst they're attached to the rail, like this. At the end of the length, like on the approach to a set of turnouts, the rail needs to be turned down, like this. When they're all glued into position, the rail needs to be painted black, but the insulating part of the chair needs to remain white. It's then a simple case of weathering the track bed, and I've been using a range of weathering powders from Pico and WWS. I'm also using powders and paints from the PS371 track bed weathering kit, Diesel. Then I embellish with a few extra bits of detail like adding the relay boxes like the SS85. I've also added AWS ramps, the SL45, TPWS grid, SL46, and finally a scale point motor, the SL47. And finishing off, I attach the concrete cable trunking, the SS87, and there we have it, a diorama depicting Wargrit Junction in its current state using a mixture of wood and concrete sleepers. So the modern modeler doesn't need to panic if you can't get the turnout in concrete form. They will be coming in the future, but you're not wrong to use wooden sleepers in their place. So until the next time, happy modeling. Thank you.